Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera Today I will talk about our subject BMMA 2353 Computer Modeling and Analysis Our assignment is Problem Based Learning about Solar Rolly Polyboard This is our group member Muhammad Fitri bin Anwar Muhammad Ahmad Husaini bin Muhammad Rashidi Muhammad Adam Najmi bin Muhammad Edi Hasni Me, Fikri Hani bin Ahab and Syed Luqman Nul Hakim bin Syed Shukri Next is our company profile Our company name is Jaabstech.co At the top right side is our logo Our mission is to provide a smarter way to play by encouraging creativity and sparking Coricity. We design and create world-class toys and games while providing an exceptional customer experience. Our vision is to provide our customer with safe, high-quality mind, expanding toys, games, and gifts. Second, to be a toy not only for children but also adult to sharpen their minds. This is our organization chart. Our chief executive officer is Muhammad Fitri bin Anwar. Second, executive assistant and secretary is Muhammad Adam Najmi bin Edi Hasni. For our chief research officer is Muhammad Ahmad Husaini bin Muhammad Rashidi and me as a chief engineer and design. Lastly, Syed Luqmanul Hakim bin Syed Kushairi is our chief operating officer. As you can see, this is our time plan. For our meeting for Popan Company, we need three weeks to make it. And for our discussion project background and job distribution, we need two weeks. For design idea and design process, we need five weeks to make it. Next, our product development and evaluation, we need four weeks. Discussion on the product, four weeks. Final conclusion of the product, four weeks. Final reporting writing, four weeks, and the design review CAD modeling, we need five weeks to make it, and the last is our presentation. So we need three months to make it from week 14 to week 15. My last part is introduction and background theory. The objective of the project is to design a mechanically robot and agile robot. Next, to optimize the use of resources, select cost-effective components, and minimize production costs without compromising the robot's performance and reliability. The third, to leverage solar energy to power its functions from contributing to substantially innovation and efficiency in various applications. The last, to reduce reliance on conventional energy resources and promote environmentally friendly alternatives. Our scope of project is encompass the design and construction of the solar rolly polyboard. Next, to development of efficient efficient solar power system for the robot. Third, testing the solar board to ensure its functionality, performance, and reliability. Fourth, document the project truly including design process, technical specification, implementation, detail, and test result. Lastly, address safety consideration related to robot operation. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Mausaini bin Mama Rashidi. 
So today I will uh, explain about our company team job scope. Firstly, Muhammad Fitri Ben Anwar as our chief executive officer. He will manage the overall operation and acting as the main point of communication between our company members. Uh, secondly, Muhammad Adam Najmi uh, as our executive assistant and secretary. He will assist in project management activities such as tracking project, milestone, uh, coordinating team members and preparing project uh, related documentation, provide support in research, data collection and analysis uh, as needed. And third, uh, me as our company team chief research officer. I will lead the planning and execution of research project, different project scope, objective, timelines, and other deliverables. Uh, Muhammad Fikri Hani as our chief engineer and design. He will establish and maintain design standard and guidelines to ensure compliance with uh, industry regulations, uh, safety requirements, and quality standards. And, and lastly, Sheikh Lokman Harkim. As our chief operating officer, he will assisting company members in overseeing the project while gathering drawings and specification, calculating material and cost, and equipment requirement. So the brief explanation about our product uh, as historical. The concept of rolling robots can be tracked back to early prototype and conceptual designs. Uh, there are so many researchers and roboticists uh, explore the idea of using spherical or near spherical shape for robot that could that could move by rolling or tumbling. However, during this period, uh, the technologies and component necessary for practical implement implementation were not really available. So, uh, a quick overview of our product. Uh, our product is uh, the type of robot that is designed to move by rolling or rotating on its spherical body instead of using legs and traditional locom locomotion, locomotion methods. Our rolly poly bots uh, utilize their shape and internal mechanism to generate rollings, uh, rolling motion. The advantage of our product is include their ability to move efficiently on different type of terrain their compact design that allows uh, for easy navigation in confined space and their potential for omnidirectional movement they can be utilized in a variety of applications such as exploration in rough or uneven environments uh, and it also can be used as education and inter entertainment so the uh, the function of our uh, robot is uh, we can use it as a exploration uh, entertainment uh, and it also can be as education and research for kids which is uh, suitable for them to learn about the solar about the robot uh, mechanism and uh, it can also be used for any further research and uh, development so now i will explain about the concept design of our product so basically the concept design sketches are the result of brainstorming and ideation process so uh, what is unique about our design is we use uh, two, a combination of two big gear as the robot uh, movement component and the solar compartment is located uh, on top of the robot so it exposes more to the sun and it can absorb more energy uh, to keep the power for the robot and we acknowledge that the concept design sketch uh, have limitations so they are not precise technical drawings and may not capture every detail or engineering consideration uh, so now we explain about the flowchart of our product development so firstly we do the product selection where it refers to the process of choosing the most appropriate product or solution that meet our uh, specific requirement and we do the background research uh, where we gathering information and knowledge uh, about the subject matter or problem 
uh, we also uh, understand the market trends the customer needs and the technological investment related to the product that being developed so and the next one we do the uh, concept design for our product uh, the material selection and the cost calculation where we estimate and analyzing the expenses that need uh, for our product development before we do the solid work sketching and analysis for our discussion for any further any further uh, study for any uh, for any improvement that we can make uh, about our uh, product development so now as you can see this is uh, the material and the cost calculation uh, for our product uh, so for the uh, solar roly poly board we have uh, 21 product parts where the most of the part we use uh, the plastic so we can say that the cost for our product development is not so expensive because um, the cost for any each uh, product is very cheap as you can see that uh, it's, it is not even um, cost our company more than uh, 50 ringgit ok next we go to drafting drawing for each single part uh, for this slide uh, we have C1 and the front and rear cover next right side body and left side body dimension drafting next slide uh, B1 and B8 component for next slide C6 which is gear and wheel okay, for next a drafting drawing is side assembly this is a final assembly for this project okay, for next slide um, side assembly of body part which is left side body and right side body with front and rear cover and next which is a for head sub assembly we have a uh, bottom part and top part Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera My name is Muhammad Fitri Biranwa with metric number B0921105311 We will be presenting about the drafting drawing is sub assembly As we look at the picture, this is our product top view, front view, side view and isometric view then I will be setting about the drafting drawing each final assembly product with bill of material and product description. Item number one, right side body with quantity of one. Item number two, left side body with quantity of one. Item number three, bush with two quantity. Item number four, six, six, six with two quantity. Item number five, wheel with quantity of two. Item number seven, front end recover with quantity of two. Item number 8, B1 is 4 quantity. Item number 10, B8 is quantity of 4. Item number 11, brush with number quantity of 4. Item number 12, A8 is 2 quantity. Item number 13, A2 is number quantity of 2. Item number 14, C1 is quantity of 2. Item number 20, couple robot with quantity of 1. And the last part is the item number 31, neck, quantity of 1. Next, I will present about the render image with actual environment. The first picture represents our product in an alpha situation. And the other two pictures show that our product in an open terrain. Next, I will present about the bone misses stress. This bone misses stress is to measure the maximum amount of stress acting on the material without causing failure. With vomit stress, it can help to, to identify potential areas of high stress concentration that may lead to material failure of structural damage. By analyzing 196 newton on this parameter, it to my no design modification are required to ensure that robot can withstand the apply load without deformation or failure. And the last part, I will be presenting about the displacement. The position of the component in the rolling poly robot structure under applied load. 
it can evaluate the structural integrity and stability of the robot and it indicate that potential issues as, such as component failure, buckling or loss of control. And last but least, it can determine the robot range of motion and the extent of movement it can achieve. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Sal Umar Hakim Besat Shukri and my metric number is B092110127. Okay, I will can continue to my friends and the last person that will present about it. Okay, for the deformation. Deformation refer to the change in shape of size of the trolley poly robot structure under apply load. Provide how to robot component respond to the external force they experience. Excessive deformation affect the efficiency and operation of the robot. By analyzing deformation, identify area of the structure that did require reinforcement and redesign that ensure its optimal performance and logistically. Okay, for can we see the picture for the upper one is deformation at body due to excessive force and the below one is deformation due to excessive force okay for factory of safety is Compared to maximum stress on the structure where is withstand to the actual stress applied to it, represent to level of safety and reliability of the design and ensure an adequate margin of safety. A higher factor of uh, safety indicates that the structure is well designed and H safety withstand the as expensive load. Analysis of factor of safety is critical in evaluating the overall robustness and durability of the roly poly robot design before deformation. Okay, for the upper picture is safe factor of body at 1 to 1 mn per meter 2. For the second picture is safety factor of the wheel at is at 181 mn per meter square and the last one is safety factor of head at 312 mn per meter square okay for the technique to improve design failure during analysis. Improve design failure during analysis until taking a methodical, uh, sorry, methodical approach, approach to identifying potential design flow and correcting them before they cause problem in the final product. Here are the some techniques for reducing design failure during the analysis phase. This have three that we was conclude is simulation, prototyping and user use user feedback and usability testing. Can the for the simulation simulation is more useful for provide detailed qualitative data on stress feel that for presenting at failure. This can be extremely used in SNTs and design or optimization algorithm in design part that place material where is the required to carry load. For prototyping is create prototype and the proposed design to visualize and assess its feasibility. Prototype enable to early testing and feedback allowing for the identification or design flow at the implementation of necessary improvement before investing significant resource in implementation and lastly for technique improve is user feedback 
and usability testing use user feedback ni we can to improve end user in the design process soliciting user feedback early in the in the design process can add in identifying design flow in areas such as user experience in the interaction and usability usability testing determine how to how well a uh, design meet and need and expectation of the user okay for the idea to improve the device we have three connectivity and interaction increase durability and reliability and improve performance by increase the device speed accuracy and efficiency okay for connecting and interaction explore is explore the way to improve the device connectivity the interaction capabilities this is how involve adapting support for additional wireless protocol like bluetooth wi-fi and each other for increased durability and reliability is attained the device durability and reliability by using high quality material and component conduct stress test to ensure the poly poly robot can withstand various environment condition and prolo prolonged use consider implementation reduction system or backup mechanism to minimize the impact of failure and lastly for idea improve is improve performance by increase the device speed accuracy and efficiency identify bottleneck or constraint in a current design and investigate technology and advisement or optimization technique to improve performance and the lastly slide is conclusion in conclusion the solar roly poly robot design represent an innovative and suitable approach to robotic by harnessing the power of solar energy this robot offers several advantages in terms of environment friendliness energy efficiency and versatility the alternation of solar power into the robot design address the glowing concern regarding the depletion of non-renewable energy source and to need for clearly cleaners and more suitable alternative the robot really on photovoltaic panel to convert sunlight into electrical energy providing a renewable power resources that reduce reliance on fossil fuel and minimize carbon emission furthermore the roly poly robot design encourage the development of lightweight and compact structure solar panel can be indicated into the robot body or the deployed as detachable modules allowing for streamlined design that are a guide and easy deployable by combining the solar system into a roly poly robot it's allow to we call that it's allow the robot to have extended period of operation without interruption this versatility make the solar roly poly robot suitable for various tasks with the environment monitoring agriculture surveillance exploration for kids entertainment oh, finally 
Solar Robot Design showcased the potential of renewable energy in the field of robotics. The utilization of solar power offer environment benefits, energy efficiently and versatility in various co- application. Or as solar technology continue to advance, solar robot have to potential to play a significant role in sustainable and autonomous system contributing to the greener and more efficient process i think that's all for this slide thank you for listening us